Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. In the past, I've done a video showing you how to set up your Tracer to link to the Monero GUI wallet to safely store your Monero coins offline. Today's video will be a short demo showing you how to do the same with your Ledger Nano X. Now the first step obviously is to have your Ledger Nano X plugged into your computer and open on the device manager section where you can add the Monero application to your device. So what we're gonna do now is search the catalog, type in Monero, and we're going to hit install. Now, once this is installing, you will be able to watch the progress bar on the computer and also on your device during the installation. Once the Monero application is installed on our Ledger Nano X, we no longer need Ledger Live, so we can close this for the rest of the video. The next step will be to download the Monero GUI wallet, which is a third-party wallet that will be connecting your Ledger Nano X to the Monero blockchain, which will allow you to safely store your Monero coins offline. I'll copy this address and I'll put it down in the description box below this video. That way you can click on it and then download the installer that suits your operating system. For myself, it's Windows. I've downloaded this installer and I've installed it onto my PC. So now at this point, we can minimize our desktop browser. And once you've installed the Monero GUI wallet, you will be greeted with this screen right here. So for the sake of simplicity for today's video, I will be setting up my Monero GUI wallet in simple mode. What simple mode means is it excludes the need for you to actually download the entire blockchain and run a node on your PC, which allows you to access your wallet faster. Advanced mode makes you download and validate the entire blockchain. This is actually optimal for privacy. It does take multiple days for you to synchronize the entire blockchain, which is around 90 gigabytes at the moment. So you won't be able to properly use your wallet until the blockchain is entirely synced. Okay, so let's get started. So at this point, you're gonna to wanna to have your Ledger Nano X plugged in, the Monero app installed, and you're gonna wanna be, be on the Monero app on your Ledger Nano X. So you would just go on over to the Monero logo and double tap, and that'll bring you to the Monero application where it will show your current wallet. At this point now, we can hit continue. Simple mode. And then we can say, I understand the privacy implications of using a third party provider, which we do. Hit next. At this point, what you're gonna to wanna to do now is hit create a new wallet from a hardware. And then now we can choose our wallet name. So for today's demo, I'm gonna hit RBM Crypto demo, and it's gonna show me where the wallet location will be saved to. And then now I can choose my hardware wallet, which I will choose Ledger Nano X, and I will hit create a new wallet from this device. I can choose create wallet, and now it's gonna create a new wallet for my device. You may have to go to your wallet where it will show your keys. If you want, you can export your view key or you can leave it internally on your device, which for privacy purposes is safer. I'm just gonna choose to leave it there and hit accept. And now it's gonna ask me to put in a strong password for my account, which I will do now. There we go. I will hit next. And now it's gonna show my wallet name, path, the language, and the restore height. And then I will hit create wallet. It's gonna ask me to put in my password. At this point, what you might have to do is head on over to your device. And once again, scroll to the right and hit accept. Once you do this, it will give you access to your wallet. So what's gonna happen now is in the bottom left-hand corner of your wallet, you're gonna see that the network status is starting to node and synchronizing. So now I'm on the main account area of my Monero GUI wallet. Down in the left-hand corner here, the synchronization process is underway for the Monero blockchain. And here's my primary account. This is my main wallet address right now. And at this point, I'm gonna head on over to Trade Ogre, which is a location where I have some Monero on the exchange. And I'm gonna withdraw that Monero to my device now. So what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna copy my address and we're gonna head on over to Trade Ogre and withdraw some Monero. Okay, so now we're on Trade Ogre and I have a small amount of Monero right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit uh, available balance here. I'm gonna hit the maximum amount to withdraw. I'm gonna send this to my Monero GUI wallet, which is secured by my Ledger Nano X. So at this point, I'm gonna paste in my address. Now, one thing you can do before you hit withdraw is you can head on over to your device, which you have plugged in. And on the screen, it shows you your wallet address. So I can quickly verify that this is the address that I wanna send my Monero coins to. Now that I've done so, I can choose withdraw and I can hit submit. And now my withdrawal is pending and will be successfully sent to my Monero GUI wallet, which is secured by my Ledger Nano X. 
So now at this point, we can head back on over to our Monero GUI. Okay, and my XMR has arrived in my primary account here, as you can see by the 0.22 XMR. Now I can safely store this XMR offline by just closing the wallet GUI here, disconnecting my Ledger Nano X, and keeping it in cold storage. Now to reverse this process and send my XMR back to the exchange or to any other wallet I want to send it to, I can just head on over to send. Now you can see this error or this notification here at the top of the Monero GUI window. Because I've just received this XMR, it says please wait 18 minutes for my whole balance to become spendable and I'm locked. This little notification here is because the transaction is currently being verified on the Monero blockchain. Once that's done, I'll be able to send this back to the exchange or to any other wallet. Okay, so now that the transaction has been verified on the blockchain, we can now send back our Monero. So all I'm gonna do now is paste in my Monero address from my exchange account. And I'm gonna enter the amount that I wanna send. I'm just gonna hit all here to send all of the XMR that I currently have. If you want, you could do it a different way just by inputting the number that you wanna send. So I'm just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna hit send. It's gonna ask me to confirm. I'm gonna to go to my device where it's showing me that it's currently preparing the transaction. And as it's preparing the transaction, we're gonna wait for further instructions. Once it processes the transaction, it's gonna tell you how much the fee is. You will just select the rate on your device and hit accept with two buttons. And then the amount of the transaction, the wallet it's going to, and hit accept again. And then hit accept one more time. And now it will process the transaction. You can hit confirm, put your password in, and hit send transaction. And your Monero will head out to the address that you've chosen. And now you can see the transaction ID and that the transaction itself has been successfully sent to the address that you specified. Now all we need to do is hit done, and that is it. So I've basically shown you how to download the Monero GUI from the website, how to set it up using your Ledger Nano X, and then how to receive and send tokens. One more thing of note is the location of your wallet file and key file, and all you need to do to go and find this is go to the, the directory that you initially set up your wallet through, which mine was in my documents and under Monero, so I currently have that file open, and this is on my PC, the document file Monero, and this is where my wallet and key file would be stored. And that's it for today's video. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section down below the video and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.